These gorgeous snowball marshmallow cookies are a soft and delicious holiday treat. They start with a cookie base, any cookie you like, then they're topped with a homemade marshmallow which, unlike store-bought marshmallows, is almost mousse-like in texture and not chilly. They're drizzled with a thin coat of dark chocolate and sprinkled with coconut. So easy to make and they make a great edible gift for the holiday season. Let's begin with the marshmallow. It's really easy, add some sugar, water and some glucose syrup to a medium sized saucepan and on medium heat give it a little bit of a stir to begin with and let it come to a bubble. While it's bubbling away little sugar crystals will form on the sides of the saucepan Use a brush dipped in some water to brush those back into the syrup. Cover it with a lid and let it simmer away for about 2 minutes. Don't lift the lid up at this point. After 2 minutes, remove the lid and it should be at about 118 degrees Celsius. Once it's reached that temperature, take it off the heat. Add some cold water and powdered gelatin to a bowl. Mix it and let it rest for 5 minutes. Add it to a stand mixer or a mixing bowl and while the mixer is on high speed, add your syrup. Continue whipping this on high speed until your mixture is thick and glossy, almost like a meringue. Now today I'm going to be using a piping bag to pipe the marshmallows. I'm using a large piping tip, a round one. Add your cookies to a baking tray and pipe your marshmallows on top. Now you want to work quickly so make sure those cookies are already on the baking tray. So as soon as your marshmallow mixture is done it goes straight into the piping bag and you can pipe it straight away. Again that mixture is going to set quickly so you want to make sure you work quickly. Set these aside once they're piped to set for about 20 minutes. Let's move on to preparing that thin chocolate coating. Add some chocolate, coconut oil to a heat proof jug. Microwave this for 20 seconds at a time, stirring each time until it's nice and smooth. Let it cool for about 10 minutes before you drizzle it on top of your set marshmallows. Let the excess drip onto a baking tray underneath. I've just popped these on a cooling rack. And as you pour, if it's a cold day, the chocolate's going to set quickly. So pour a couple of them, sprinkle with some coconut, and then keep on pouring. You can see that some of that chocolate already started setting before I sprinkled the coconut on top. Now guys, these are so delicious, actually really easy to make, and they make a great holiday gift that's edible. If you want to grab the recipe, it's over on my website, thescranline.com. That's where all of my recipes live. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Make sure you're subscribed. And I hope you guys have a lovely holiday period. I'll see you next week on thescranline.com.